So hello everybody and uh, welcome to your next C-Sharp XNA platform and tutorial. So in this tutorial we got quite a ways um, but uh, we still have some some more places to go. So we've got we've loaded in our tile set, we loaded in our solid tiles and we loaded in our motion. So now it's time to uh, actually start drawing the layer. Now what we're gonna do is I hope you never deleted your old layer class. What we're gonna do is just open that up and we're just gonna copy this right here. My cause we already know what it does, right? So no point in me trying to re-explain that over again since you already did that. So there's gonna be a few things that we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna just have to make that uh string array and we're gonna split that and we're going to say tiles dot add new tile. No we can't do that so what we're gonna have to do up here is we're gonna add in a few new things we're gonna add in a tile we're gonna have temp tiles we're gonna have a tile dot motion and we'll call it temp motion and we'll have a tile dot state equals no called temp state okay and for right here we'll just say temp tiles dot add new tile so now we're going to uh, have some if statements. So we're going to say that if, um, sorry. So now we have to uh, kind of um, loop um, through everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that if solid dot contains and we'll put in the contents IK. Then uh, the temp state is equal to tile state dot solid. Else, temp state is equal to tile state dot passive. Okay, so now we should do the same thing for motion. But the thing about it is that um, in our in our file, right, the motion contains uh, two. It does contain this value, but it has other values in it. Now, since we're not using it on a string itself, but we're doing string contains on a list, then we would have to get the actual correct um, ID um, of it. So what we're going to do is, um, I guess we'll just use a loop or something like that. Because for me, when I tried to do it with the list earlier, it just wouldn't work properly. So what we're going to just do is we're just going to do a list, right? And we're just gonna go through motion and oh we can't even do that. Um so we can say that we just do for each so string m in motion if m dot contains so if it contains uh contents ij then what we got to do is split it. So we got to say string, um, let's say get motion or something is equal to m dot split, and we're gonna split by the colon, okay? And then, not sure cannot be declared in a label statement. So I guess we gotta put this above. So let's just put it up here. Okay, so if it is, then we get the motion. And then we're gonna say um, temp motion is equal to, now pay attention here. Now, I never really looked up too in depth how to do this so I only know one way to do this if you know an easier method or something let me know in the comments below and you can do your own method but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say tile dot motion and I'm gonna put enum dot parse and I'm gonna put type of tile dot motion and then in here I'm going to put get motion one now the reason why I put get motion one is because get motion is gonna have two properties it's gonna have the uh this is what's gonna have this is what's gonna happen so it's gonna split these two values it's gonna split this and it's gonna split 
that okay so what we want to get is this value right here so what's gonna do is just set it to the correct enum that we have okay and um, we can get rid of all this right here so we'll say tiles that add and we'll add in the temp tiles now uh, what we got to do after all this stuff right here we got to say temp tiles K dot set tile so we can put the temp state in there put the temp motion in there for the position we could we would normally put a K times the tile dimensions and for now I'm just gonna assume that the tile dimensions are 32 by 32 since I know they are for my map uh, we will be putting in the tile dimension dot x and tile dimension dot y later on but we just want to see the results on the screen so we'll edit this later so we, we I should be able to do this but you'll see you'll soon see that there's a problem with this and for the image we'll put in the tile sheet and for the area this is what we need the split for so it's, we're gonna say int dot parse split zero times the tile um the tile width and we'll say int dot parse split one times the tile height and tile width tile height so uh what this is doing is gonna get the first number right and then it's gonna say that times 32 and so on and so forth so it's gonna give us the right dimensions we need in order to crop the image um that we need so to crop the tile okay and this should all work correctly so let's um, do this and so let's just make a draw method and let me just check how much time I have okay so we're good on time so uh, we're just gonna create a loop that will loop to every single tile that we have and I'm not sure what happened with temp motion unassigned local lastly we should add a break here oh we should say that if it doesn't so if temp motion say equals no or something then we say temp motion is equal to tile motion dot um you know what right here we'll say temp motion is equal to tile motion dot static if it's set to a value whatever then we'll just call break on it okay uh so we won't even do it in here so we don't get an error we'll just set it up here just set it to static and that should get rid of the error Okay, so in the draw method, we're gonna loop through all the tiles that we have, right? We just wanna get it drawn. We'll fix all the little stuff later. So we're gonna say tiles ij draw sprite batch. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna go to your map class, and I've already done this. Um, so in your map class, in instead of layers, you're gonna wanna put layer, have the layer in there. You're gonna say layers equal to new layer. Uh, you're gonna call layer dot load content. You're gonna put in the map in there. Now you're gonna in the map load content. You're gonna have to add a map right there, right? You're gonna have to add that there. And um, so you're gonna do that. And we're going to go down. And we're just gonna put layer dot draw there. And the gameplay screen for the map dot load content. Just put in the map that you created. Okay. Uh, that would be fun and we just call mapped out draw and everything should be good so let's test this out to see if it actually works um, so we ran into an error and I didn't even get to see what that error was oh it's probably because we never set anything for it so uh, we gotta say motion is equal to new list solid is equal to new list Okay, so let's try this one more time. So we call animation load content without even setting a value to animation. So we're gonna say animation equals to new animation. So let's try this again. 
Oh, and, and this error is caused because of something I said x equal to zero. X should be equal to tile area dot x. Hopefully, third time's a charm. At third time's a charm. Now look at it. Okay, so we've got some of our map in there, but it, it's not drawn correctly, and there's a reason for it. And I'll show you how to fix it quickly. Just let me check how much time I have. Okay, so the reason is, uh, in here. For our y coordinate, we're saying i times 32. And normally that would be fine. But remember, when we start loading our layer, that is not the first attribute we have. So i is not going to be set to 0 by default. Remember, so when we go to our map, that one, map 1. Okay, so it's going to load this attribute. So i is going to be equal to 0 when we're talking about this. Then i is going to be equal to 1 Then when attributes is here. Then when we're loading this attribute, i is going to be set to 2. Then we start drawing the layer, attributes is going to start um, from 3. So basically, this first tile is drawn at, uh, I believe, tile 96 or something like that, right? In the Y coordinate, and so on and so forth. So to accommodate for that, uh, there's many ways that we can do it. But what I'm going to do is relatively simple. Uh, so we're just going to create a variable. Um, just up here because it's only a temporary variable and we'll just call it index y outside the for loop set it to zero and we'll just say instead of i we just say index y times 32 and whenever we add something to the tiles we just say index y plus plus so let's try this one last time and voila we got the map that we had before so that's gonna be the end of this tutorial and the next tutorial we're gonna be adding in motion and stuff and doing some cool stuff with our platform so hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye